we're Beth and Eddie. For the last year, we've been turning this school bus into our new home so that we can sell our house and travel the country full time. And if you're new here, here's what we've been up to. We bought the school bus for $6,000. And when we got it home, we ripped out everything from the seats to the floor, from the windows to the walls, to the sweat drips down. Oh my God, is that a dollar bill? <laughs> We bought this school bus for $5,999. Now I know what you're thinking. Great. Another bus life couple quitting their stable jobs and leaving their affordable mortgages. But th that's, yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. So here we are, one year into our build with our dreams not too far away. But first, we need to get this bus finished. So let's jump into this week's game plan. All right, team, we are going to, one, get the back wall insulated above the bedroom and get that face up on there and never take it down again. Why? Because two, we are gonna install the upper cabinets in the bedroom and they kinda need to be in there forever. So, and then three, we have to move the back wall in the bathroom back a few inches so that we can begin shiplapping it and then do the final upper cabinet for the bedroom this week. Those four things, let's go ahead and knock it out. I started to do some of the insulation back here because I'm going to be putting the face back up and I don't really need access to anything. These lights will eventually be swapped out with LED lights, but I already have those and the hole's big enough that I can just reach all the wiring from the outside. So I packed it very thick inside here. I want to do that because I want this area to be as insulated as possible, considering this is where we're going to sleep. I'm ripping apart like the small sections and then I'm stuffing those into the harder to reach areas. And then I'm taking the larger pieces and just laying them in there. Okay, and that's what it looks like finished. I shouldn't need to take this down anymore, but knowing me, I'm probably gonna take it down again at some point. Uh, but we have the outlets here. We have the access panel to the light. It is a million degrees, so probably gonna take a break now, go eat some lunch, and then we will get back to it. It's probably like 2.30. This looks good for now. Oh my god, not right now. Thank you. No, do we know what we're doing? No. Over the camera. <laughs> I need a mallet or something. I don't know. Mallets for hands like you. You're like donkey calling. I think that's pretty good. Okay. All right, so what we did first is we had the bottom part of the shelf. We actually attached that to the fern strip right away. And then we have this furring strip also going into the rib of the bus at this point, at this point, and this point over here, which you cannot see, but I'll show you. All right, I want to make a mark somehow, some way. A mark on life? So that I can hopefully get in there and screw that. This is going to be difficult. Got my marker though. Handy dandy marker. That will be the path I will try to follow once I remove this. Split a little bit too. It'll have to do. Yolo, right? That's what the kids say. Is it? I don't know if they say that anymore. I cut this piece at an angle so that way when we actually go to put the finished face, it'll sit flush and it'll be able to like staple right in. We'll be able to glue around, not staple, we'll be able to glue the uh, finished face to it and then staple it and then nail it. I don't, why do I keep saying staples? We screwed it into the side here, we screwed it into the side on that side and it is sturdy. Oops. Oh baby, oh, this ain't going anywhere. The goal today was to get this done and we did. So I'm happy about that. We'll eventually be putting our clothes in there. This is just a beginning stage of it. We have to put insulation. We have to put ceiling planks. We eventually have to do a face trim and then doors to open and close. But this is gonna be the future clothes storage. One will be mine, one will be hers, or 
This is for my clothes, and this is for my clothes. I want to get it in first before <laughs> we talk all that crap. Okay, today's game plan is to bathroom wall, move it back a few inches so that uh, we can shiplap it and get this final upper cabinet installed right here. Cool? Cool. Let's do it. Hopefully I didn't glue this bottom here like you're supposed to. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't do what you're supposed to do. We're gonna find out. I screwed it into here. Okay, I did some things correct. But what I'm concerned about is the floor. If I glued the bottom support piece, that's not gonna be fun because then I'll have to get out the oscillating tool. And she moves. Here is the moment of truth. Oh, it's moving. So maybe I didn't. I knew. I just knew that I was gonna eventually. Oh yeah, I didn't glue it down. Oh heavens, thank you. So we have the wall officially completed. To explain what we did, we had the wall originally on the inside here. And if you could, oop, my bad. If the wall was on the inside, it was gonna like end up on the window. And so there's no way to really waterproof it that way. The other benefit is it added a few inches to our toilet area, which is good. So we have more space there. Now the plan is to do shiplap here. So we're gonna do shiplap. I gotta put that other piece of support right here. And then we can build our upper cabinet here. And that will be the last upper cabinet for the bedroom. So we'll have one there. And then we'll have the one that's there. So yeah, you guys have already seen what shiplap looks like. So let's just do a nice transition. Here's a piece of shiplap. And we're just gonna go. Ow, dude, hold up. We're not doing the shiplap yet. I'm working on the upper cabinet. We still have to go to the store to get the ship lap, and that's not until next week's video. We're gonna be dropping every single Friday, 10 a.m. Keeping myself accountable right here, right now. So if Friday comes around 10 a.m. and there's not a video, I want you guys to just go to the last video and just spam the comments like, where's the video, where's the video, where's the video? But we're also doing the videos one day early for YouTube members. So if you guys wanna check that out, I'll put a link in the description. If you haven't seen what our bus looks like up to now, you can watch this video here. And this is gonna be our unfinished tour. We went through everything and our plans for the bus so you can kind of get an idea of where we're at. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and we will definitely see you in next week's video. Peace. I have to I have to turn off the camera. Okay, bye.